I'm gonna do a little quick walkthrough and see if any of my chickens laid any eggs. Many farmers will tell you the fall tends to be a resting period for chickens. <laughs> But consumer demand for eggs is flying high as shoppers continue noticing higher sticker prices in stores for shelled eggs. Okay, ladies, I'm just looking. Danny George is farm manager at Bonton Farms in South Dallas, an urban farm that harvests a variety of vegetables in addition to raising livestock and egg production from its chicken shed. Yeah, I see two here. George and the team here say they've seen steady and growing demand for farm fresh eggs as prices continue soaring in stores. Egg prices have doubled, even tripled in some areas across the country. The difference between store bought eggs and farm fresh eggs is that I've never bought an egg from a grocery store that lasted five weeks. But economic experts say this egg price situation isn't your typical tale of inflation. Egg prices are going up because there's been an epidemic, the avian flu has hit the uh, the bird population. Michael Davis is a professor in the SMU Cox School of Business. He's been monitoring the trends and says fewer birds mean fewer eggs and scarcity equals prices going up, with no sure sign of when egg prices may drop. Everything depends on, on the health of the, of the flocks. If the, the producers get the flu situation under control, uh, they can build their, their flocks back fairly quickly and egg prices will begin to drop. Until then, producers and consumers are doing what they can. Every egg you get from Bonton Farm will show when it was harvested and how long it will last. And with most of the chickens at Bonton Farms in a season of rest or molting, that also means the birds here aren't producing enough eggs to meet local demand. However, George says that's nature and it's okay. They're not machines. They're God, no animals. They're chickens. They have to rest. In Dallas, I'm Damon Fernandez.